वेलकम फ्रेंड लेट अस कंटिन्यू अवर स्टडी फॉर द चैप्टर नंबर वन थ्रू माय यूट्यूब चैनल द टॉपिक्स इंक्लूडेड इन टूडेज लेक्चर इज प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन सो नाउ लेट अस सोल्व न्यूमेरिकल ऑन चैप्टर नंबर वन डिटरमाइन एब्सुलट प्रेशर इन बार एंड न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर इन द फॉलोइंग केसेस सो नाउ we have to identify that yes we have to calculate the absolute pressure and it should be in bar n newton per meter square for the following cases now let us see what is case a case a barometer reading is 760 mm of hg and manometer reading is 180 mm of hg that is my case a and what is case b barometer reading is 760 mm of hg and vacuum gauge reading is 100 mm of hg so now looking to the case a and case b we can overview that case a is the case of positive uh, pressure and case b is a case of negative pressure and accordingly we have to use the equation of absolute pressure that is what we can understand by looking at the numerical now let us start solving the numerical so this is the equation absolute pressure is equals to atmospheric pressure plus or minus gauge pressure now my case a is barometer reading is given and manometer reading is given as the manometer reading is given it is a positive pressure and as it is a positive pressure we have to use here plus sign so here it is absolute pressure is equals to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure now we see barometer reading that is a atmospheric pressure in the unit millimeter of hg manometer reading that is a gauge pressure again it is in millimeter of hg it means both the pressure have same unit so we can do the summation so atmospheric pressure 760 plus 180 so the answer is 940 millimeter of hg is the absolute pressure for the case a but we require to convert the answer in bar n pascal that is newton per meter square so this is not the required answer also although it is the correct answer but not the required answer so we have to correct this unit that is millimeter of hg into bar n pascal now let us convert it in bar how we can convert in bar this is the you can say formula that is 760 mm of hg is equals to 1.01325 bar so what is in a, uh, what is our answer 940 mm of hg is equals to how much bar so using that equation we can find out the absolute pressure in bar and the answer is 1.2532 bar so that is the answer in bar but now we require the answer in newton per meter square also so how we can convert the answer in bar into newton per meter square now let us convert it in newton per meter square this is the answer in bar yes yeah, so 1 bar is equals to 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square then what is the answer for bar 1.2532 so 1.2532 bar is equals to how much newton per meter square and answer is 1.2532 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square so that is now my complete answer for case a absolute pressure in bar is 1.2532 bar and absolute pressure in newton per meter square is 1.2532 into 10 raised to 5 now let us study the case b in case b they have given the barometer reading that is atmospheric pressure 760 mm of hg vacuum reading so it is a negative pressure that is 100 mm of hg now as it is a negative pressure which sign we have to use to calculate the absolute pressure here plus or minus yes we have to use the minus so p absolute is equals to atmospheric pressure minus gauge pressure now as the both the reading are in same unit we can do the subtraction 760 minus 100 so the answer is 
आंसर इज करेक्ट बट इट इज नॉट इन द करेक्ट यूनिट सो वी रिक्वायर टू कन्वर्ट द आंसर इन करेक्ट यूनिट दैट इज इन बार एंड न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर सो इन बार अगेन यूजिंग द सेम इक्वेशन 760 millimeter of hg is equals to 1.01325 bar then 660 millimeter of hg is equals to how much bar so it is 0.8799 bar now we require to convert this answer in bar into newton per meter square and what is the equation 1 bar is equals to 10 to 5 newton per meter square then 0.8799 bar is equals to how much newton per meter square so the answer is 0.8799 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square so this is the answer for the case b kindly like share and subscribe my youtube channel neeraj chawra thank you